That'll do it. Sup! Hail to the Java! I found you! What's wrong, Sammy? Are you okay? You're about to become an ant! What? How am I? I have so many questions. No time for questions! This is the time for action! I found a stray cat! She's having kittens! We've gotta go! Sam, but I... What about the dirty plates? Sue, so, there's no time for it! Come on! But... But this is gonna be another wacky adventure! I just know it! I really need to get a siren from my ambulance! Where's the cat, Sammy? She's over here! Our patient is ready, nurse! Um, I'm not a nurse, and who's that guy? This is Dr... Um, Dr... His name isn't important, Sue! Wait, the patient! It's our mother-to-be! She's glowing! I thought we were dealing with a real cat! That would be pretty messy, Sue! And I'm pretty squeamish! This way is more fun! We should probably examine the cat first. Is this thing on? I can't hear anything. Hello? Oh, my ears! I always knew you had a loud voice. Whatever. So, shall we get started? My ears are ringing. I need a doctor. Get in line, Sam. The cat and her kittens take priority. I'm okay. It'll take a lot more than that to stop me. Can you help us out here? They don't call me Dr. Sam for nothing. Actually, nobody calls me that. But how hard can it be? Anyone can do five years of medical school. What's your verdict? I'll be honest. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I guess we'd better go check up on the kittens. We can use this monitor. I don't know, Sue. I can't find our YouTube channel on this thing. Oh, that's because it's not a TV. Ah, all right then. That explains a lot. Sam, can you pass the ultrasound scanner? Uh, give me a second. I will conduct important research. <laughs> Look at that! Sammy, we're supposed to be examining the cat. Oops, I just wanted to see what was inside me! I'm 100% slime! So, how's it looking over there, Doctor? Can you see anything? Nothing so far, but give me a sec. I'm gonna have to give it the old Sam's magic. Step away! Sam, no, don't do that! Wait, what's that? Aw, oh, we have one kitten. Wait, I think there's more. Twins. Um, I don't think it's twins. Sue, we might need a lot of kitty litter. Oh my, well how many are there? 500, there's 500 kittens! Whoa, are you serious? Well that's amazing! How are we gonna deliver them? It's gonna be a long day. We'll do it for the show and for the paycheck! Wait, you get paid for this? Okay, we'll talk about this later. Just take deep breaths. In and out. Relax. In and out. It feels pretty good. Oh, I was talking to the cat, Sam. Oh, that... So, are you ready to do this, Doc? Let's get started. Step aside, I've got this. Uh, Sam? I wouldn't do that. Come on, Sue. How bad can it be? Uh, this was a mistake. Sam, are you okay? Uh, I don't feel so good. I think the kittens are ready to meet the world. You go ahead, Sue. I'll supervise from over here. Here they come. It's so exciting. Oh, they look so cute. Just like their mommy. You're doing great. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Sue. That really means a lot to me. Huh? I was talking to the cat, Sam. Oh, right. That makes more sense. There's still a lot more kittens to come. How many is that? A lot, Sue. Let's just say there's a whole lot of them. This is taking a long time. There must be an easier way. I think I have an idea, but it's unconventional. I'm willing to try anything at this stage. Give the cat a good shake, trust me. Okay, here it goes. Wow, it's working. <laughs> Ooh, I think it's the last one. 498, 499, and 500 kittens! Yes, finally! We did it! Great job, Sammy! And the other doctor. So now we need to name them. I have a couple of variants. Sam Jr., SJ. You know, Sam, the kittens will need somewhere to stay. Let's build them a kitty home. I knew it! It's crafting time! Will you give me a hand here? I'm way ahead of you. I'm just sketching up my plans. 
but I've already started. I'm thinking an indoor pool, a sauna, and a walk-in wardrobe for the kitten collars. Haha, <laughs> I admire your ambition, but I was hoping to keep it simple. All right. Mm, that can work, too. I'm glad we could come to a compromise. In the meantime, you can make something for the kittens to play with. To understand the kittens, I need to think like a kitten. Meow! I decided on a ball of string. It's a kitten classic. Wait, there's more. I want them to have the best time ever. You know, Sue, it doesn't have the wow factor. We need to color it. Now let's make these more sturdy. We can tape them over. I can help with this part! We make a great team, Sam. Uh, it's got me, Sue! Save yourself, stupid tape! Need a little help over there? I did a semester at an escapology camp. I can do this. Okay then, I believe in you. This'll be nice and cozy. Ta-da! I told you I could escape! I never doubted you. Can you finish the tower then? And I'll work on the toys. This should keep those kitties busy. Ooh, it's a mighty fine tower. I hope they're not scared of heights. This will be so relaxing for the kittens. What do you think, Sam? Do you think they will like it? It'll be playtime all the time. Playtime must be thirsty work. I think the kittens need a drink. Here are the bowls. And I've got the milk! Come on, kitties, drink up. And I just got an idea. Let's make a bed for the kittens as well. This cozy sleeping place can fit in all our kittens. Aw, uh, I could use a cat nap too. Haha, <laughs> sweet dreams, fluffy babies. Sleep tight. Wow, what a day. Yeah, who thought looking after kittens could be so hard? I'm just looking forward to this mug of tea. Oh, I forgot to put milk in it. What? How come we're all out of milk? That's okay. I've got some milk right here. Um, thanks, but I'll just go to the store. See you around, dear friends. Now this is the part of the program where we show you how to make something that's just for fun. And today's fun fingertip is this guy, the stretchy jaws. But how are you going to make him? Well, all you need to do is get a nice strong piece of card like this. You need to draw around a ruler six times. I've already drawn five there, so just draw the last one on. And it's quite important to leave a nice big gap between your last two ruler shapes, like that. And then draw around your ruler one more time, but this time onto a sheet of paper. Now fold your paper in half this way, and then fold it lengthways all along there, like that. And then... Get a pair of scissors and just cut a little snip on the corner bit there. And then on the same side, cut another snip just at the top there. And this is going to work as a template once you've opened it out, like this, where your pinholes are going to go. So put this down on top of your ruler shapes, get a pin and very carefully make a hole where you've got a gap like this. Now you need three holes on two of your ruler shapes and two holes on all of the rest. So, just do the rest here. You need two on this side and the same on this one here. And then your last two, you need to hold this side and in the middle. And there's the last one. 
and it's now time to add your features to your fingertip stretchy jaws. Now we're going to draw them on these two strips, that's why we left a nice big gap around them. So first of all let's give him a nice big nose, there we go, and let's give him big eyes like that so he can see everything and we'll make him a sleepy creature so there's his eyes and now for his jagged teeth make them nice and sharp there's his top jaw and you don't want to go past the middle point by the way you'll see why in a minute there's his bottom jaw and when you're happy with the features you then need to cut all your strips out and now it's time to paint your stretchy jaws. You can paint them any colour at all you like. Poster paint or acrylic paint both work really well. But just be careful not to block up the little holes that you made earlier with the pins. And when you've painted all your strips, it will look like this. And it's now time to assemble your fingertip stretchy jaws. And there's a set way to do this. What you need to do is take your top jaw and then get a strip with three holes in with a strip with two holes in and the same with the bottom one. So you get your bottom jaw, a uh, strip with three holes in and a strip with two holes in. And then you're going to lay it out. Now, your bottom jaw obviously goes on the bottom in that direction and all the other strips along the bottom go in the same direction like that. The top jaw goes obviously on the top. You lay that over and all the other strips that go on the top go in the same direction like this. And it's now time to connect them. And the way you connect them is with paper fasteners. So you put it through the hole, line it up, and then flatten it out on the back. Do that with all of the holes and all of the strips, and you'll end up with stretchy jaws that look like that. And by the way, if you have access to a computer, you could check out our website. We'll give you the address at the end of the show. Click on to fun fingertips and the templates for the stretchy jaws will be there. Also, if you video today's show, you can watch it back whenever you like. Uh, but if you have a pen and paper ready right now, we'll go over it again. Draw around a ruler six times, making sure you leave a gap around two of them. Make a paper template ruler size, then fold the paper in half lengthways and then in half again. Now you need to snip a hole in the centre and at one end. Now mark the position of these holes, three holes in two of the strips and two holes in the rest of them. Now it's time to draw on those eyes and teeth. And then you can paint all the strips and when you've assembled them, fasten them with paper fasteners. And you can use this principle to adapt your jaws. Look at this. Whoop. But whatever you do, make it snappy. <laughs> oh, wonderful. The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we just need some arty things to make our footprint animal picture. We'll need a tray, <laughs> some paper or card, <laughs> some paint, a glue stick, some scissors and a pen, and my travel can of stinky feet spray. My travel can of stinky feet spray? We don't need this. We just... Scraps! How did you get here? Oh, I see. Look, we don't need this can of stinky feet spray at the moment, but we do need some stickers. Oh, good. Off you go. <laughs> oh, here we are. Some stickers. Thank you very much, Scrap. We've got some stickers. There we are. We've got everything we need, except it does feel like there's something missing. Hmm. Do you know what it is? I'm here, Mr. Maker. Jaden, of course. Thank you very much for coming. You're just in time to help us make this footprint animal picture. Look, it's a mummy kangaroo with her baby in her pouch. Are you ready, Jaden? Yeah, sure. Good. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's make it. Now, the first thing we're going to do is draw a kangaroo. Jaden, can you pass me that orange card there, please? That's it. Now, drawing a kangaroo is easier than you think. Let's start off by drawing a big teardrop shape for the body. Then, do a smaller one for the head, a longer one for the tail, and two small ones for the ears. 
Now, we mustn't forget the kangaroo's pouch. That looks a little bit like a smiley mouth. Now, Jaden, what do you normally see in a kangaroo's pouch? A joey. A joey, that's right. That's a baby kangaroo. So, Jaden, why don't you use that brown card and draw the baby kangaroo? Now, Jaden, you're going to draw a small baby sized teardrop for the head, two tiny teardrop ears, and two paws. Good job, Jaden. And when you've drawn all of your kangaroo pieces, you need to cut them out. But be careful, because scissors are... Sharp! That's right! There, we've got all of our cut-out pieces of our kangaroo and our joey. And now, Jaden, we're ready to arrange them on our background. And when you're happy with your picture, we can glue everything down. But now we're going to add eyes, noses and mouths using stickers and a black pen. That's her nose. It's just like your nose. Like my nose. <laughs> and here are the eyes. It's looking good, Jaden, but something's missing. What is it? Feet. Feet, that's right. Walk this way. <laughs> now, this can get a little bit messy, so you'll see that Jaden is wearing an apron. We've put down some old paper, and our paint is in a tray. Now, if you're going to make this at home, make sure you get an adult to help you. But today, Jaden, I'm going to help you. High five. <laughs> Excellent work. Now, very carefully, Jaden. Step into the tray of paint, one foot at a time. That's it. And another foot. Good boy. And then one foot at a time, step onto the picture. Oh, well done. That's it. And then your other foot. That's brilliant. And now step back into the tray. Good boy. Excellent work. What a great picture. And if you enjoyed that, why not try these other ideas too? How about a seal with footprint flippers? <laughs> or you could try a scorpion with footprint pincers and a footprint sting. Or you could even try making a pair of terrific toucans with multicoloured footprints for beaks. Animal footprint pictures are great fun. Why don't you try one today? Now, Jaden, we've cleaned your feet up, and all that remains is for me to say a big thank you for helping me, Jaden. We made it! What a fabulous way to use your feet. Well done, Jaden. Bye. <laughs>
there's one eye and there's another eye. And now let's use these rectangle shape stickers for teeth. There's one. <laughs> there's another one. And one last tooth. Here we go. Now let's give our friend some hair. So we've got some fun fur there. Let's stick on some glue like that. There we go. And now if we turn him around like that, he's taking shape and we can stick in our lovely hair and we have done it! Yeah! I did it just in time. But if you've got more than a minute, you could try all sorts of ideas. How about a smiley striped pot with blue woolen hair and pink sticker cheeks? <laughs> or a spotty pen pot made from a dotty sock with three eyes and wild orange hair? <laughs> or you could even make a bright orange pot with wild curly pipe cleaner hair. <laughs> sock pen pots made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Pull an old sock over an empty pot like this. Draw on a mouth. Add dots to stickers for eyes and stick them on. Add sticker teeth. And glue fun fur inside the back of the pot for hair. Your sock pen pot is finished. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Thanks, everyone, for being part of another marvellous Minute Make! <laughs> I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a shape. Scraps, let's party! Come on, mini makers, let's all dance with the shapes. I'm a circle. Spin around, spin around in a circle on the ground. I am a triangle. Clap your hands in the air. Triangles everywhere. I am a square. Everybody draw a square. Draw it here, draw it there. Everybody draw a square. I am a rectangle. Bounce everybody. Bounce like you just don't care. What's it going to be? Wait and we will see a shape for you and me. I am a square. Yay! What's hiding behind the squares? Can you guess? That's right, it's a woman's face. That was fantastic, Square. It's time to get back on the shelf. Yay! <laughs> 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 Scrap surprise party popper. <laughs> To make a face-shaped doodle, all you need to do is stick a shape like this rectangle onto a piece of paper. Now draw ovals for eyes, curves for eyebrows, and dots for pupils, a wiggly nose, and a big happy mouth. Then add ears, and lots of spiky hair. Or you could try another face shape, like a circle, with round eyes, a round nose, and a heart-shaped mouth with a line through it. Then add big curly hair. And you could even try an animal shaped face using a triangle. Just draw eyes like this. An oval nose with a mouth joined to it. And big teeth. Add whiskers, 
ears. And you've made a rabbit. What a clever idea, Scraps. That's a really funny bunny. And you can make any face-shaped doodles you like. That's it. Well, let's see your face doodle. Sophie, you've made a square face doodle. What have you made? A monster. A monster. Well, I absolutely love that, Sophie. Oh, and look at this triangle face doodle. Aidan, what have you made? A fox. It's a fox. It's brilliant. And last but not least, Betty here. And what have you made? Let's have a look at it. A funny old man. Now, is he as funny as me? <gasps> well, he must be very funny indeed, then. All right, everyone, these are brilliant pictures. And now for something else that's brilliant. Follow me, everyone, this way. Come on. <laughs> Over here, Mini Makers. That's it. Over you come. Now, you are about to make a brilliant party picture. Have a look at the screen and see if you can guess what it's going to be today. What picture are today's Mini Makers making? Any ideas? What do you think it could be? It's a monster's face! That's right, it was the face of a monster! <laughs> oh, you know what that noise means. It's time for... Cam to find out which mini makers are playing today. Off we go. Who's it going to be? It's Ryan. Yay! Yay! Who's next? Here we go. Come on now. Who is it? It's Zoe. Yay! And last but not least, off you go. Go on. It's Kyla. Yay! Yay! Well done, my friends. You've been chosen for a very special arty challenge. Yay! OK, everyone, I hope you're all ears as I talk about today's game. I know I am. <laughs> ha! Look at this, Mini Makers. We've got lots of face parts here on this table. We've got ears, we've got mouths, we've got everything you need to make two very funny faces over on our special wall over there. Now, Mini Makers, you can put those face parts wherever you like, but remember, the funnier the face, the better. All right, then, do you think you can do it? I think so too, my friends, but you must be very quick. Remember, you've got to finish before Scraps makes this noise. <laughs> Good luck! Ready, steady! <laughs> go! Off you go, Mini Makers! That's it. Oh, Ryan, that's it. Start with a mouth. Perfect. That's it. And some eyes. Well done, Zoe. Well done, Carla. Oh, very nice. Look at that eyebrow. It's a moustache. Great idea, Ryan. That's it. Oh, that's looking brilliant. Well done, Mini Makers. Why don't you try playing a small version of this game by very carefully cutting out face parts from a magazine? Wow, look at that. I mean, another nose over there, Ryan. We need some ears. That's it. Keep going. Do you think they can do it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on over, Mini Makers. Over you come. Let's have a look at your fantastic, funny faces. Well done. These might just be the funniest faces ever. Wow. Amazing, Mini Makers. You did a brilliant job. But I'm afraid now it's time to tidy up. So go and find your face parts. I'll come and help you in a minute, Mini Makers. We've had a fantastic arty party today. We've had lots of face-shaped fun. We made funny facelid pictures and face-shaped doodles. We learnt how Frida Kahlo turned her face into a famous painting. And we played the funny face game. We've been arty at our arty party. Are you ready? Your fun just began! Yeah! Yes, that's 
right, our party's over, but your arty fun is just beginning. It's time to put the party pad back in its box. See you soon, everyone. Bye! <laughs>